Mission Control, Mission Control, Commander Tom here, Commander Tom, Mission Control, we have a problem. Mission Control, Mission Control, we have a problem. I'm going to tell you the problem. I'm going to tell you the problem of Mission Control. Commander Tom here, we have a problem. And before I talk about Mission Control and the problem, the problem, uh, a while back, maybe six, seven years ago, I did a series of sculptures. These are cast. These are hydrostone, a very hard material, or is it? Yeah, I think it's hydrostone. It's very, uh, very, very hard. It's like granite, but it's also brittle. It breaks easily. But it was a series based on the Barbie doll, and I called it, I did 48 of these sculptures, these little guys, casts, and uh, I called them the Broken Barbies. And uh, some of them are even in combination. Look at that. It's like very complex. These are very, it was an exercise in understanding casting. And uh, you can see with undercuts. And uh, uh, these are very complex sculptures. And they're based on Barbies. And there are 48 of them. And uh, here's one. Here's one with one of my favorite sculptures of the past, the Venus of Willendorf, and uh, holding up, holding up a, a broken Barbie. And Mission Control, we have a problem. Yesterday, I listened to, or two days ago, and I did a video and I didn't like it, but I'm going to re redo it on Mission Control. And it was with, uh, I listened to a day, uh, a Hunter, Greg Hunter thing with, he's finally bringing on people that are talking about something meaningful other than the collapse of the money, the collapse, the economy, the economy, the, the economy is a hangnail on what we're facing. The, 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 the brutality of the financial destruction is merely a hangnail on the destruction that we're facing. And uh, I was listening to this uh, Dane, nice person, Wigington, talk about what he calls what he calls geoengineering and climate modification. What I call from the past, I call it chemtrails. And he said, oh, don't call it chemtrails. It's not chemtrails. Piss off. It's chemtrails. If you relate to it as chemtrails, it's chemtrails. Don't get subverted by these people who are going to put their own scientific name on it and as much as he's, he's, I mean, he's making great points about this, but again, it's the wrong approach. It's the trying to tell people not to call it a certain thing because science is going to be upset and they're not going to take you seriously because we're all flakes, crazy guys. Fukushima, yeah, I'm a crazy guy. Fukushima is rampaging. Of course, I'm a crazy guy. So don't get diverted by these Dane Wiggingtons who talk about climate and it's the most incredible devastating thing and again you feel overwhelmed by how huge this is and this guy used to actually work for Bechtel <laughs> or uh, Halliburton one of those two the two biggest monster reptile companies of destruction that uh, do their subterfuge at extracting great amounts of wealth uh, he worked for them, and now he has a big spread in California. And what is happening, the drought in California is devastating his Shangri-La 1,600-acre ranch, and he can't ride on his horse, so he's picked on chemtrails. Good. He calls it geoengineering. Fine. Call it whatever you want. Pick your fight. And this is mission control. Pick your fight. Pick your fight. And here's an idea, and I'm going to try and just talk about things that uh, come new to me or... Uh, clear to me, I'm going to articulate, try to articulate this, and I'm hooking up with a few people that are going to make presentations of the, uh, the shows that both I and Blanche and myself and a few other free radicals have put together over the last three, four years. And people in, I've, I've talked about this, I've said people, contact me, I will send you a package, and you can approach your museums because we need to find legitimate, credible institutions of substance, of stature, that have uh, money behind them, that can fund the shows that we want to do. 
and I'm working with people that are not art conoscenti or uh, have their own insights into the meaning of the universe in terms of art. They're just uh, understanding that what I'm producing, the work that I'm producing uh, in cooperation with Blanche and a few other people, McCormick, other few, uh, few free radicals. I have, there's about 12 now. And what I was going to say, mission control, we have a problem. Yes, of course. Fukushima tops everything. The chemtrails are part of this gigantic devastation we're facing. Listen to this thing guy. He's got it all wired, but not the way he's approaching it. Going like the old science. Why would the science types solve this problem? Because they created the problem. That's what I've always said. It has to come from some other grassroots feeling. And I love this. I love this. I got contacted by a person and she's going to present this work because I've been sending this stuff out for the last three years with zero response or thank you, have a nice day, not interested. I'm not a great promoter of my own stuff. So here's what I was thinking, Mission Control, we have a problem, but what the problem really is, is that we need individually to pick our fight. I'm not someone who's going to fix Fukushima, but I can certainly create the desire, the creative spirit, the antagonism and anger with this, the way lots of people have their calling and their abilities and they bring it to bear on generating uh, the excitement or the necessary resolve to fix the things, not personally, but be involved in the solution. And we have to try and figure this out individually, each single one of us, we have to figure out how to do this. And it may be exactly the idea that I, that I have given on YouTube, if YouTube has any value, it has had to me because I've met up with people of conscience. This is very important for me. It's not just spouting off something on YouTube and showing you my paintings in the background and, oh, maybe I'll get a sale out of it. I'm way beyond that. I'm way beyond that. I got to survive and I got to make this work and I got to try and infect people with this feeling of, of taking, taking on this fight on a very personal level, the way I feel I've taken on this fight. And the way we do that is not to go be overwhelmed by the Dane Wiggins guy, how monumental this is and send me some money or whatever. Yeah, fine, send him some money. But we need to figure out individually how to actually translate this in monumental epic information about the destruction and the reality of this destruction into our personal lives. And that's why I said, take the presentations. I will send you a presentation of the Popism is Dead show or the Fukushima paintings or even other work that I have done in cooperation or individually and present it to museums. And this is an, one idea, but people can have lots of different ideas how to take this fight on personally in some way. And I'm not going to say what it should be because I'm not a physicist and those pricks aren't doing anything. They're never going to do anything because they created the problem, which is why Blanche goes off about how they don't come out the marine biologists. Why would they? They're part of the problem. They'll never, they'll never come out and actually do something. And it, it has to happen with each person individually trying to evoke the conscience in these people, if they're ever going to meet, if they're ever going to have any meaning to us, it's because we're able to take this fight personally, not to fix the chemtrails or to fix Fukushima, but to actually let people know we know. And what this is what I'm doing about it. And this is just one idea, which I love. It's like if you if you support people that have a program, that have a plan, this is taking on the fight personally. And uh, you get to talk to me <laughs> in my circumstance. So mission control, the problem is not just Fukushima and chemtrails. The problem is that we need to figure out a way, each individual, to take this fight to the next level. And Dana Dernford has taken it to the next level, the spirit on the water. Do not, I will never disparage this man's uh, effort. To, uh, to create the awareness, what is required for people to become aware, whatever he's decided to do, there is no criticism. I have no criticism. I criticize the people that are responsible for the destruction, but not the people that are trying to bring this into consciousness. 
I will never do that. So all you, all you YouTubers coming out now, or some of you saying, oh, Dana shouldn't do this. Or sh You're full of shit because let him do what he's doing. He's decided. I'm not going to tell him what to do or what not to do. I'm not going to tell Blanche what to do or what not to do. You're not going to tell me what to do or not to do unless it makes a lot of sense. Don't kill the spirit. Keep the spirit alive. And in each one of us, we got to figure out how to do that. Like Lonnie reading the book. I mean, uh, she's doing a hell of a lot more than reading the book, but that's that's the thing. That's how it works. That's mission control, Commander Tom. We have a problem. Get into this fight. 